Sharika Jackson is off to the 60 meter finals while Daryl Nita impresses in her prelims and Dina Asher Smith sets a new English 60 meter women's national record people. The finals at Birmingham Indoor Championships 2023. It's going to be fire. Welcome back to the channel, people. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, thank you for making it Peter Lloyd World. Go ahead, please. Hit the subscribe button so we can continue to go. When you do that, hit the notification bell so you know the next video drops. We drop a video at least once a day here in Peter Lloyd World. Also, if you enjoyed the content, hit the like button. And finally, leave your thoughts. So, ready? Yep. Good to go. Moments ago in Birmingham, England. The big three in the women's 60-meter dash in their preliminaries all delivered and some delivered even more than anticipated. Sharika Jackson, the one dolly, the superwoman, Daryl Nita and Dina Asher Smith are all safely through to the final. All did well. Jackson improved. So take a gander because I'm telling you, you are not going to want to miss this 60 meter final and you have to keep it locked here to Peter Lloyd World where we give you the latest updates. So first up, in heat number two, preliminary number two, Dina Asher Smith was extremely impressive, setting a new national record in the women's 60 meter, lowering her 7.04 mark to 7.03. People, she's on fire and clearly playing head games. Take a gander at the race. Away cleanly, Asher Smith got an excellent start with Smith Barnett alongside her. Also going well is Asher Phillip. It's Asher Smith who takes it from Smith Barnett. And I think Luke and Kemper came through officially. So Dina Asher Smith for the second time in this. In heat number one, it was Jamaica's Sharika Jackson and Daryl Nita who ended up in the first and second position. Nita, of course, in that number one spot. Take a look. All eyes on Nita for the British crowd. She got away pretty well with Sharika Jackson on her inside. Strawn on the outside going well. And it'll be these three. Nita from Jackson from Strawn. 7.14. meters, of course, coming all the way down from 400 meters. She's saying she's... Nita won heat one in a time of 7.14 with Jackson running 7.23. A massive improvement on her previous time. As we said in our video yesterday, Jax is Cherokee Jax is Cherokee Jax. She's capable of anything. Now, let's first talk about this one, the gorgeous one, Dina Asher Smith. 7.03, a new national 60 meter record in the heats, in the prelims nonetheless. She did not ease up off the gas pedal and it is clear that Dina Asher Smith came to make a statement and is playing them those mind games. Remember that Daryl Nita's PB is now 7.05, which is not far off of 7.03. So lowering that mark to the 7.03 makes a statement and she's telling the world and Daryl Nita, hey, me come here, me not play. Okay, let me, let me break that down. She's saying I'm here to do really serious business. I personally was very impressed with her run and I'm telling you again, people, this young lady is one to watch for the 2023 season. Daryl Nita looks really, really good and I know you're going to say it's just a 60 meter, but she's healthy and once she's healthy dina asher smith is a threat a real threat and i know you're gonna say it's just a 60 meter indoor but people look at her look at her form look at her acceleration look at how smooth she looked she just ran the fastest 60 meters she's ever ran in her life the fastest one ever ran in england and this is the prelims she didn't look winded she didn't look tired she clearly had a whole lot more left in the gas tank that's going to translate. Remember, this is the bronze medalist from 2022 in the Women's 200 Meters World Championship. And she is also the gold medalist from 2019. Now, it's very, very evident that both ladies had two different techniques going into their prelims. Daryl Nita was not pushing hard. She was just smooth and easy. She looked really, really good. Um, the 7.14 is not a 7.03, but I think she has a whole lot more left in the gas tank. She looked really, really good to me. And I think that herself and, of course, as I had predicted initially, um, Dina Asher Smith are the ones to watch. Nita has been improving consistently in the last 12 to 24 months, and she looked good. Um, she's holding it back. She's She didn't want to make a statement like Dina Asher Smith did in um, her heat, heat number two. So, uh, Daryl Nita won heat number one very comfortably uh the only person that was pushing at some point was a one dolly of course sharika jackson who also impressed so i am 
uh, anxiously awaiting what will happen in the finals. And of course, you keep it locked here and we will keep you up to date. But Nita looked good. Go back and look at the race. She was not pressing hard. She was smooth in her transitions. Looked very, very confident. And I know she, she has a game plan and she's sticking to her game plan. Now, as I said in yesterday's video, Sharika Jackson is capable of anything. So going from a season's best or first race in the 60 meter at that time of 7.34 to now running 7.23 is a massive improvement. And it speaks to the caliber of Sharika Jackson. So that's why I said, so I did that follow up video yesterday and said, look, um, she's capable of anything. So I'm looking at these top three. I mean, J Jackson looked smooth. Um, if you look at, I made sure I put a head on shot so you could see she looked very relaxed in the face and the shoulders. She looked like Sherika Jackson and she's definitely improving. I just said it's 7.34 now down to 7.23. Those are, those are huge numbers. And I think if she runs in the finals, which I think she will, she's going to further improve that. It's Sherika Jackson. Um, so looking at the race, I was most impressed with Dina Asher Smith. Daryl Nita, Sharika Jackson, and Asha Philks. Uh, all four looked really good. I think Jackson is going to be in that top three, and she's probably capable of pulling a surprise. I do must admit it's a little un unlikely, but this is possible. Um, wow, Dean Asha Smith looks incredible. But Daryl Nita clearly has a lot in the tank, and you know she's holding back a lot. So that that final people keep it locked here to Peter Lloyd World is going to be fire fire <laughs> i can't wait to see it and i'm super excited um i'm most excited to see this race more than any other race over there uh the birmingham indoor um championship so i'm looking at the i still think that the, the top spot is really between dina asher smith and daranita you know but dina looks really good daranita clearly is holding back and jackson looked really really good you know but this of course is just my two cents i would absolutely love to hear your thoughts who do you think is going to win i mean do you think that jackson can pull it off and don't be emotional and speak of your jamaica and you say yep and sherika go in and okay sherika no no don't do that no <laughs> look at the numbers and be practical the truth is um the national smith just set a new national record for england 7.03 but don't forget um, Daranita is not far behind with that 7.05. Those are pretty, still pretty close numbers. And Dina Asher Smith did not look winded. She looked like she had a crap more in the tank, whole heap more. And so did Daranita. And like I said, with girl Sharika look good. Now, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, hit the like button. Remember, you are royals. You are my kings and queens. Bless up.